Good morning, boys and girls. It's great to be here with you this Sunday morning. Who oh, I can't find this morning is Shep. Been looking for him everywhere. Grace, have you seen Shep? No, sorry, Mom. Oh, Shep. Oh, oh, there you are. Why are you in the darkness? Oh, Shep, you look so sad. Are you missing your friends? Oh. I'm missing my friends as well. It's really, really hard being separated from the ones you love. Oh, listen, Chef, let Grace and I bring a little bit of cheer and a lot of light into your day. Would you like that? Grace, lights please. Sure. And come and help me with Chef. Now, remember, we've been looking at who Jesus is and we've been looking at it through the I am sayings of Jesus. And let me tell you something really cool about it. When Jesus says, I am, it means he's God. Cool, huh? <laughs> How do I know? Well, because when God describes himself in the Old Testament, he uses the words, I am. I am who I am. So let's see what I am saying we have in store this morning. Grace, can you pick up the Bible, please, and read it for us? It comes from John chapter 8 and verse 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you need some help. You're not quite sure what it means. <laughs> well, see, when the Bible uses the word darkness, it usually, usually means sin. <laughs> see, sin is when we disobey God. And if we disobey God, it means we're separated from him. We can't be his friend. Yeah, it's really sad, isn't it? Now, listen, Jesus says he is the light who has come into the world. He is the light of the world. And if we follow him, if we believe in him, we will never walk in darkness. In other words, Jesus takes our sin away. Pretty cool, huh? Walking with him takes our sin away because he has come into the world to be that light. There are other stories in the Bible where Jesus um, heals the blind people. And it reminds us that we need to turn to Jesus, that he is the one who opens our eyes to see who he is. And he is the one who takes our darkness away and brings light. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, you're really excited. We need to remind the boys and girls out there that Jesus is the light of the world. If we follow him, if we believe in him, we will never walk in darkness. I'm so excited for you, Shep. You get so excited about learning about Jesus and it makes me really happy. So happy that I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> Are you happy? Well, I'll right here we have. Who are you? Your best friend. Oh, well, as we let Shep and his friend Rocky get together, let me remind the boys and girls that as you go ahead and worship with your family today, as you celebrate the greatness of God, to remember that Jesus is the light of the world, that he comes into the world and following him means we will never walk in darkness. He takes away our sin so we can be God's friend forever. Have a great time. Enjoy your Sunday with your family. Bye. Bye.